Hello guys, back with another video and today we are going to review the GoPro Karma Grip. So I get, it comes with this nice little case. Now this grip sells about for around a little under $400 without the GoPro. The GoPro is going to cost you for the Hero 5, I think it's about $350, probably. So a total of about $800. To power it on, you push that, hold it down. And it should power up. There we go. And the GoPro will automatically sync and turn on. Um, there's also a one-touch record button, which is right here. This red ring will push record. It starts recording. Um, you can. I don't know what the other two functions are. Oh, this shows you your battery. And I don't know what this does. Now that you have seen the basic functions of the GoPro Karma gr grip, now we're going to look at the specs of the GoPro Hero 5 itself. So, it can shoot up to um, 4K, 30, frame per, 30, 30 frames per second and 1080p up to 60 frames per second. Now we're going to talk about the pros and cons of the GoPro Hero 5 and the Karma Grip. So, let me put this back in here. Um, the pros of the GoPro, it's amazing because it can shoot in 4K now and 60 frames per second, which is really good for slow motion. Um, I liked the touch screen on the back and LCD screen seemed to be really um, good quality. Um, I also liked how you can change the views of the GoPro from widescreen to full view to like zoomed in. All these different modes, I like that. Um, I didn't try out the time lapse yet on it, but I've heard the time lapse is really good on it. And the photos are pretty cool too. So, um, the pros of the Karma Grip though, I would say is, I mean, this is, this is like the next generation of stabilizing. It's insane how you can um, stabilize something like this with just a small little grip. Um, so I definitely think uh, they will make a second one of these probably and as they get better and better this is going to be a must-have item. Now I wouldn't necessarily go and buy it right now because of the price it is unless you have unless you're really far into um, cinematography and you have lots of money to spend on the equipment because with the GoPro Hero 5 and the Karma Grip it's going to be around 800 bucks. So, I mean, it's not that much money but depends on what you're going for. Um, definitely a really good add-on for um, travelers, hikers, um, outdoorsmen that are taking videos in the woods and hunting and all that because the stability is improved and it's really pretty light compared to a big honking DSLR you're taking around with you like up in the mountains that always gets really annoying. I see a lot of those videos and they're always frustrated about um, carrying those 
heavy cameras up there. So this is a really good, the cons about it, um, it's a little laggy or a little slow on the turns, which is understandable. Like it takes a while to um, turn when you have it on. It's a little, a little bit laggy, which is fine. Um, another con is the vibration. I don't know what the problem is with this one, but the motors are vibrating and once in a while it gets kind of annoying and also shakes the video a little bit. So I'm going to have to research on more on what's the problem with that. And overall, it's a really good GoPro setup. So make sure to subscribe to Sports Elite Extra and check out our main channel, Sports Elite, where we're putting out um, some new videos and a new uh, hint hint. There's a new short film coming out next week called Campfire Stories. I'll, get, I'll let you know more about that. That's going to be on our regular channel, Sports Elite. So see you later.